Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to learn how to customize a drilling. To do this, let's start by going to the Shape tab and selecting the Drilling command. Now, when you first place a drilling, it will remember the last drilling used. For example, if I was on a hole, it would have come up with a hole. Now, as some of you may have noticed, Top Solid only starts with three basic types of drillings. A basic hole, a tapped hole, and a counterboard hole. Now, beyond that, if you want to customize the drilling further, you have to click the Customize Drilling command. Now, in some cases, that icon might be hidden like that. Maybe you have these like uh, the dialog boxes reduced to be very small. So make sure you expand them so you see all of your options. So here what I'm going to do is click on Customize Drilling. And in this video's case, I want to create a special type of drilling with the countersinking, a cleared out drilling before the tapping, and then finally the tapping. So to do this, I'm going to select countersinking, I'm going to choose hole, and then I'm going to choose tap hole. And you can add these together as you want. You can add multiple tappings if you want. It can be however you want to use the command. Now in this case, I'm going to build this sample for a quarter 20 tapped hole. So I want a chamfer up there that is 50 thousandths bigger. So I'm going to leave my diameter at 0.3, 90 degree chamfer, perfect. For the hole, I'm going to set this to my major diameter of a quarter 20 tapped hole. For the depth, I'm going to set it to two times the pitch, so 50 thousandths, or pardon me, 100 thousandths. And finally, for the tapped hole, I'm going to choose a quarter 20. I'll set my tapping depth to 5 eighths. I'll let the hole be blind and automatically calculated following the NC standards. And I'll green check mark to validate. And like that, you can see my multi-step drilling that I just made. It's kind of nice. Now, if this is a one-off thing, you're not going to use this hole very often. That's all you need to do. Hit the green check mark to validate. However, if this is a type of drilling that you're going to use a lot, you may also want to consider adding it to your drilling templates. So I can click here and say, my tapping, for example. I'm going to store it in the default My Templates fold, uh, directory. I could right click on this if I wanted to and reference other libraries or projects. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit the blue arrow and I'm going to validate the insertion of this hole. The last step to this is how do you reuse that hole? Well, let's say I right click on the part, go to drilling, or I activate it up here. And again, I was back on a simple drilling. Now I've gotten away from my options of this drilling. Well, all I need to do is go to the Templates Explorer here, and I can select my tapping, hit the blue arrow, and now my options are back. And like that, I can go ahead and customize this to be anything I need it to be.